Yes, queen. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, now you're scared. Now you're scared. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. Monica Linda Photography. Wedding and event photographer. Wind beneath my wings, kind of junky, an expert at capturing love, and I'm obsessed with finding it. Girl boss founder of Girl Squad, Inc. Huh. Wouldn't you know? She has a separate Instagram account, Girl Squad Inc. Branding and event photographer. Photographers for women who are taking massive action in their businesses by creating visual stories to help them grow the businesses they love. Can I get a hell yes? <laughs> I love this. I love this. Because what we've been seeing a lot in the chat room, chat room, I see you. Uh, how many accounts should I have? What should I do? And at the end of the day, I can't give you a hard and fast answer. All I know is that if you're selling to two different customers, Two different dream clients. I strongly advise you to have two accounts. Good thing I don't have to tell Monica anything because she already knows that when a bride is looking to hire her, she's gonna be paying a very high ticket item for a singular event for Monica to be the specialist at wedding photography. Now if I, as an entrepreneur, am looking for a photographer and I go to her account and I see a bunch of weddings, I might question, is this the person really for me as a brand photographer? Monica made the hard decision to say, I'm gonna do two accounts for two different clients and run two different photography businesses. She asked, picking where, to picking where to start first to scale my business. Everything needs to be done at once. How do you pick the ones that provide the most impact financially? Do you care to expound on that? Yes. So um, one, I learned to do the two accounts because I've been like pro profit to profitability, did it. Got it. So all that stuff, that's how good. I learned to do it. So that was really good. Good. Um, but I feel like with Girl Squad, and I was talking to some of the people here today about how, like, I know how big it is. Like, I can feel it. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like this magnetic pool that's just crazy, and it's exciting. And I feel like I'm one of those people that I have, like, a million visions, right, of, like, mm -hmm. where I want to go and what I want to yeah. do with it. And I'm, like, so excited that I feel like I'm going to explode in my body all at the same time. How do I, like hone in the vision, narrow down the audience, because what's happening is when I am doing like one-on-one -on -one with clients, yes. I am getting dream clients. Like the clients that I currently have are literally dream ideal. Perfect. What's happening is I want to scale it. So there needs to be more of them. Not only that, but I see Girl Squad is not scaling it as a bigger business, not just for me, Okay. I also want to model it very similar to second shooters and weddings. Got it. So I want a squad of photographers. Great. So that's your vision. That's the vision. So you ask, which one? how do you pick which ones to provide the most impact financially? I think you answered your own question, or did you not hear it? Because I could break it down for you. I don't, I think I've said it so many times that I don't okay. think I'm hearing it. I love it. it. Great. So will, can I assume that you're okay with your wedding work being okay? So you're good. That's where you want to be. You're Beautiful. Your it's coming in so great. So Girl Squad yeah. Inc., you have a vision. Yeah. And the vision is it's not Monica. The vision is it's a group of female photographers who are empowering other female entrepreneurs and giving them visual collateral. If then you know that, your singular objective would be create such a demand that you can't fulfill every single client who comes your way. Because if you do not have demand, you cannot funnel it down to other photographers. Right. And if what you're telling me right now is I don't have enough demand, is, did I hear that correctly? Yes, but what's happening is it's not just like branding photography, event photography is exploding in like the women's world too. I get that. So like the demand for my event photography has skyrocketed, which is great. Great. So I do have another photographer who just does that for us. Perfect. So like, I feel like there is a demand in certain areas. Now I feel that I'm not honing the message in and not communicating it in the way that I want to because I feel like there's all the things. Like, yes, I do do weddings too, which takes a lot of other But if somebody's too. following Girl Squad Inc. and just assuming that they just follow. They do, yeah. Then they don't know about your wedding. No, nothing. So, you also said, how often should I leave time in my schedule to generate new ideas and a plan? I find myself growing and working all the time. How do I choose to slow down and work about a more macro view of my business? How can I make more faster? Yeah. It sounds like there's three versions of Monica living on the inside of Monica's body. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah. So we just have to, we just have to break up the cord. Okay. We need Monica to number one, before you do anything else, you need to create demand for the thing you want to scale. Okay. And what we don't, what I don't hear right now, and correct me if I'm wrong, is if we have scale quite yet. 
No. Do we have, okay, so then, Step number one is to get so many boss babes in Southern California knocking on your door so that you could show proof of concept to other people who you want to take in underneath you and say, I'm going to take a piece of that pie because I'm going to handle all logistics. Okay, so step number one is drive so much traffic to build out the thing that you do. Okay. Then step number two is to reach out to two to three different photographers who catch a vision that's much bigger than Girl Squad, uh, than just you. They catch a vision of Girl Squad Inc. Okay. So you sell them the vision and you say, because you're an early adopter, you're going to get a larger percentage of the profitability for trusting me early on. But what I need from you and non-compete clauses are not permissible in California. But what you say is I need you to be your word is your bond. Yeah. And you're going to give me whatever you say, 12 months, 24 months, 48 months, whatever you decide and say, I will funnel work to you. And all I need you to do is I need you to upload the images. And if they edit the images, they get a larger percentage of the profitability. If you want to control the branding and expectations, you keep your editing in house. You keep an editor in house. You send out your photographers. They send you back their content. You put up the gallery. Then you say, I am your broker. I get a piece of that. I yes. am your manager. You show up, you be creative. I do logistics. That is Girl Squad Inc. Yep. That is step number two. Step number three is to build up systems. And that is the ugliest mm -hmm suckiest, worst thing that you say, I just need more time to create. No, yep. baby, because your vision is bigger than you. So when you say my vision is bigger than me, just being the creative within what you need to do is build up the system and that stinking sucks. Yeah. But now you have three steps. Yeah. You're not building out systems yet. First, you got to build a demand. Okay. Build that demand, build that demand, and then reach out to two to three of your friends who you trust and say, this is what we're going to do. You're gonna get a larger percentage. You're gonna help me build out the system. And then what you need to do is you need to bring in an office manager, an integrator, a COO to do the logistics, to find out who your editors are, to do the galleries, to do all the emails. Three steps. You know what to do. Now you just focus on that. Okay. Okay. How do you feel? I feel good. I feel good. I feel like my biggest challenge is that I'm um, not a challenge, my opportunity. Yes, Queen. Um, is that I want to like rush it or like I'm so excited about yeah. it that I like want to like fast forward as quickly as so possible. But how can you fast forward demand if you ain't got it? True. Because you know what? Like I already see it happen. Good. Do you know what I mean? Like I've already Ooh. been there. Like I know what it looks like. Good. I know what it feels like. Like we're going to like take over. Who here would everything. like to trade <laughs> spaces with Monica? Yeah. Right? Because so many of us don't have the audacity to dream. I've already been there. It's, okay. it's amazing. Then shut up and do the work. Okay. okay. Right? Because <laughs> right? we can sit here and say, it's not happening. It's not happening. Okay, we'll make it happen. Right? Right. So we're going to do this. Okay. You see it. Your success is a foregone conclusion. The question then becomes, do you have the patience to watch mm. it day after day, week after week, do the work when no one else is paying attention? You know, if I guaranteed all of you success, would you say, I will do this for three years with nobody paying attention? I will do this for 10 years with nobody paying attention? I'll do this for 30 years with nobody paying attention. You better answer yes to all of those because we don't know when it's happened. But you believe it's going to happen? Do the work. That's it. Okay. Okay.